It's quiet in this carpet market in Mazar Sharif. The place was once buzzing with tourists and people eager to buy traditional Afghan carpets. But now, shop owners are struggling to find buyers. Business has slowed down a big deal. There's no more activity here. No much selling and buying compared to the past. Carpets were Afghanistan's biggest exports in the past few years. But since the Taliban's takeover, Afghanistan has been isolated, its assets in U.S. banks frozen and its borders closed. The banking system has now shut down. And along with decades of war, that's led to the carpet and drug industry facing its biggest crisis. Afghan carpets have always had a timeless appeal around the world. The intricate designs reflect an ethnic and cultural diversity, and they're proudly displayed here by merchants to make good profits. But many men and women who spend long hours hand-weaving rugs and carpets face uncertain times. Anna Muhammad has been a refugee in Pakistan for decades. Resettled on the outskirts of Mazar Sharif, he finally thought he would be able to look after his family. This is very important for us. This is our only source of income. There are no job opportunities here. For his daughter Hajara, making carpets pays for her schooling and she hopes to save some money for when she goes to the university. I want to become a doctor, but things are changing, and I hope to be able one day to find real work when I graduate. But for the time being, I enjoy hand weaving. Saeed Nassim and his family have been in the industry for generations. Until recently, business was thriving with foreign clients willing to pay high prices for wool and silk rugs and carpets. <laughs> Our main problems are the borders which are closed and also the banks. So we can't export and we have no cash to pay providers. For now though, no one is showing up at his shop. He hopes the borders will soon open so he can begin exporting again. But until then, Saeed has no option but to continue admiring his artworks and the many stories they tell about the old and young men and women who toiled for months and years to make them. هاشم البرا الجزيرة مزار الشريف